Good evening everyone and welcome to another week of your mechanical keyboard group by news. Thanks everyone for joining in. Let's see, I see a Neffert, Pararch, Madai Yusti, Vogi, Ve Veggie Meat Lover, who else? Crucified Poo, Polycarb Diet, Kajata, Akip, Noi DB, Iowa 501, Jake 6353, and AK74 Lawson. Thanks guys for joining in. So, um, you guys might notice something a little different, might not, but today I picked up a new lens, a new lens right here. Um, for the longest time I've been using the, the kit lens that, that came with the Sony a6000. So this is a slight upgrade, saw one used from my local camera store and they also had like a 20% off deal. So I picked it up, Pick, picked it up. This is still a 16 millimeter, but it's a prime lens now. So it should be sharper, maybe? Maybe a little sharper. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, it's uh, picked it up for a, under a hundred bucks. That's how cheap it was. So I was like, all right, gotta do it, gotta do it. Anyway, this lens still still has not changed. This guy's still the same lens that, that I've been using. But the board you guys are seeing in front of me is a customer's Monster Gear X087 with uh. JWK Lavenders and GMK Godspeed. Check it out, check it out. So tonight, if you guys execute the drink command, you'll know that I'm drinking the same old oolong tea, but I figured I'd mix it up this time. I'd mix it up by adding a little milk and make my own milk tea. So let's turn on some music and we'll hopefully get the show on the road. Let's see, let's do... People complained about my music last week, so let's go with something safe. Something safe. Let's just go jazzy. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see, Rogue Architect subscribed with Prime. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Iowa 501 is definitely sharper. Do you guys think so? <laughs> yeah, there we go, there we go. Definitely sharper. It's 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 still considered like a budget lens. I'm not buying like thousand dollar lenses here, you know. So maybe maybe one day, maybe one day. Rogue Architect says, "Love what you add to this community. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you." Right, here we go. Let's um, let's make my own milk tea here and see what happens. Right there. Let's see. Will this be any good? I I don't know. Mmm. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Oh, uh oh, let's say uh Zark redeemed spoken word at the beginning of the show. Okay, okay, let's do this. We can do this. We don't have too long of a segment tonight. Here we go, here we go. All right, so for those of you who don't know, um, I do have channel points here that, that you can redeem after some time. And one of them is the spoken word. For those of you who don't know what spoken word is, spoken words is a form of poetry, I guess. It's a dramatic reading of prose. But since I am neither a poet nor a very good prose writer, what I tend to do here is actually just pull up a typing test, which I will read dramatically. So here we go, here we go. Let's do this, let's do this. Thank you, Zark, for redeeming 3,000 points. In the style of... Did you list a style? Yes, you did. Death Metal Vocalist. <laughs> okay. All right, let's do this, let's do this. Let me pause the music here. And here we go. Death Metal Vocalist. How should I do this? All right, let's do this, let's do this. Okay. I guess this is a good way to like start the stream. <laughs> Let's see. All right, here goes. Let's pick something more death metal. I guess. I, I guess carbon works. Is that more death metal or something black? Here, Dracula. There we go. That's more death metal. <laughs> here goes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> there we go. That was. <laughs> Dramatic reading in the style of a death metal vocalist of a typing test. <laughs> Every time I do that, like my wife like peeks over at me. She's like, who did I marry? What the hell? <laughs> All 
Oh boy. All right, I'm gonna have to drink a little here. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. For those of you joining in for the first time, we don't normally start off with with any kind of spoken word. That was just Zark redeeming all of his channel points. But yeah, here we go. Here we go. For those of you joining in for the for the first time, this is my weekly news segment in which I cover all mechanical keyboard group buys starting from tonight, February 21st following the next seven day time period from tonight till Saturday, which is the 27th. And yeah, just try and cover every group by that happens between now and then. So without further ado, without further ado, let's start off with our very first ending group by. I like to do key sets first, so here we go. This one is ending tonight, actually. Here we go. This one is Caro Caro Keys Keycaps. This is a DSA profile set that comes in two kits. The core kit goes for 140 and the Ergo kit goes for 130. So yeah, let's take a look at all of these really quick. As you can see, it is a very, very green set. And one of the few sets that I've noticed that has a novelty design on the space bar. But yeah, I think when I first talked about the set, I mentioned that this was like a so, something for your kids, something to get them started on GMK while they're young, you know. So yeah, here we go. See, look at that. I, I wonder if you can buy this mouse somewhere because that's really cute. I know you can get the desk mats because that's part of it. That is all part of it. Yeah, look at that. That's all DSA right there. Very cute, very cute. Let's see, Wally Wog says, Novelties are cute, but can't get over the color. I'm with you on that. Whenever I look at green sets, I greatly prefer a darker green rather than a, a lighter green. So yeah, it's cute. Definitely cute. Oh, look, look at that. That's the Ergo Kit, 130 bucks. 130 versus 140. This is manufactured by Signature Plastics. If I'm not mistaken. Oh no, I'm not. I'm. Um, it's it's manufactured by Infinikey, actually. There you go. Infinikey for 140. That seems rather expensive. Okay. Mm, yeah, it's really expensive. I, I was expecting that based based on the price, this would be Signature Plastics, but guess not. Let's see. Expected shipping date is May 2021. Not bad. Not bad. GLD Top says this set would make some fire photos, but I couldn't imagine it on my desk. Pylon7 says pretty hard sell. I agree with you guys. Agree with you so far. Here we go 140 and 130, and I believe the dust mats are. Let's go look at the dust mat price. The dust mat price is 30. Wow, that is probably by far the most expensive dust mat I've ever seen. Like normally they're around 17. Um, some of the more expensive ones are 25, but yeah, 30 bucks, that is, that is a lot. That is a lot. But here, let me link that as well. Boom, right there. Cool, cool, cool. And yeah, if you guys want to want to join in on this group buy, you have until tonight, I believe. Tonight is the night to join. All right, next set that is expiring is expiring tomorrow and is a set that I will probably join. There it goes. All the way on the Kono store. This is EPBT Ramen Stop. Check it out, check it out. So as usual, with EPBT sets, you've got lots of different kits. So the way this kit works is you've got your base kit for 75 bucks, like this guy right here. Only covers up to TKL, but it does have sub legends, right? It's got Japanese sub legends right here and different colors. So what makes this cool is that you can add, just like when you're going out for ramen, you can add stuff to your ramen, right? So you've got You've got yolk. Here, here we go, here we go. This is what I want. You can add a plain kit, you can add a yolk kit, 
Kamaboko kit and a seaweed kit, all ranging in different prices. I think the plain ones are 15, everything else is 25. And of course you've got space bars right here. Space bars for 20, colors for 25, localization for 12, and dust mats as well. Here we go. So I did cover this in my interest check video. I said that it was a missed opportunity that the dust mat was not a ramen menu. You know, like I guess that's the closest that they got right there. Closest that they got. Got the ramen girl dust mat. And of course there is a artisan key right here. Cool, cool, cool. Um, this closes tomorrow, tomorrow evening. And the estimated date is, let's see, when is it? I think it's Q3. Oh, here we go, yep. Q3, six to eight months from close. Yeah, definitely check this set out. I know I will. Flash Flood says, hello, McMurlin from Canada. Hello to you too. So yeah, check this set out if you guys are interested. I know I will probably be joining this. Let's see, oh, oh yeah. Um, I'll be joining this and picking this guy, this colorway right here. The, so that would be the, the base kit plus Kamaboko and Yolk Novelties. And if you guys own GMK Merlin, you know why. Because it's almost the same colors. All right. Let's see, next, next key set that is expiring. Panzilla says, picked up the base, plan kit, and yoke kit. Nice. Let's see. Okay, next key set expiring is happening on the 24th. Here we go. This is EPBT Soju, also on the Kono store. Um, less kits than ramen stop, but base kit goes for $99.99. Also covers only up to TKL, as you guys can see. And it's got, I believe these are Hangul sub legends. So earlier I mentioned that I, I, I much prefer darker greens than the Kero Kero Keys green. Um, I'd say this is more like my type of green. I like this green better, you know. So yeah, base kit for $99.99, novelties for $15, couple accents for $14, 40s kit for $25, International kit for 20, space bars for nine. That's good, that's good. Alpha space bars also for nine, numpad for 18. And check that out. Check out this novelty, guys. This looks like a bottle cap off of your soju bottle. So if you are going for the theme, you absolutely, absolutely need to buy this. I know it's like 59 bucks, but this will complete the set. And of course, as usual, dust mats for 17. This one, you got the peach and the green grape. I think if I had to pick one, one of the three, I'd go for the original. Yeah, not bad. As I said earlier, this ends on the 24th and estimated time of delivery is sometime in Q3, six to eight months from close. Oh, look, just with another month or so for transit before shipping to customers. So yeah, uh, I'd say more like Q4. Maybe Q4. Nasty Nader says, I might buy this set just so I can, having a set to go with that thought cap. Yeah, for sure. Here, let's take a look at that thought cap a bit more. Mm. Very cool. Because that's the top down view of it. I guess when you're looking at it from the top down, you can't really tell, tell what it is. You just have to look at it from the side. Hmm. You know, you know what would be cool? If this was put on a board with an encoder knob, right? You could actually get one that's round, just like a soju bottle cap. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, you guys got till the 24th to purchase this. It's Asley says, that's what I was thinking, nice. Oh, hold on. 
Just wanted to show some of the renders here before we moved on. Here we go. I think on a green board it just looks lovely. See all that? Yeah, I'm actually not a big fan of, of the accent colors. I kind of I kind of prefer just a regular green look like that. You know? Just a regular green look is fine with me. The the peach and the grape don't really don't don't really stand out, I guess. Cool. All right. You guys can check that out before the 20th the 24th which is when it expires. The next set is a is a set that I talked about last week actually, but I guess they pushed it back. Here, give it one more week to completion. Once again, this is DSA Nature Witch by Infinikey. For $115, the core kit looks like that. Say so you've got novelties and a fairly extensive compatibility right here see that that's just got novelties for a broom you've got like tea wands there's the witch hat mushrooms who knows what else there's so many of them all for 115 oh yeah here let's look at some of the renders there we go that's a big kit for the prize yep yes indeed Cool, cool, cool. Oh, look at that tiny broom. That's cute. Very cute, very cute. But yeah, this one expires on the 26th. It was supposed to end last week, actually, but I guess they weren't getting as many sales. Let's see, usually TKC posts that info. Any... Okay, I guess they're not showing any of that anymore. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, you can also get a variety of dust mats. Like this one right here. This is the moth dust mat. I think I said it last time. Well, I think it's cool. I'm not a big fan of insects. They kind of gross me out. So even if they are magical moths, I'd, I'd rather not, not own a dust mat like this. But it is cool. It is cool. The other one is this one with just frogs and leaves and all that. all that yeah so expected ship date is august 2021 hopefully they meet that and oh here we go dust mats those are these are the three right there there's nature witch frogo and magical moths all right Okay, um, my quick take on it is that I don't like the colors at all. It's definitely not something I would buy. Alright, if you guys are interested, check it out before the 26th. Let's see, what else is expiring on the 26th here? This guy right here, not really a full key set per se. But, here we go, if you are, if you're a big fan of Teja types, this is your chance to pick up some GMK Mr. Sleeves for 70 bucks. I think the original was 70, and is the new one also 70? Yes, they are, they are both 70 dollars. But here, let's take a look at some of that compatibility here. Open image in new tab, there we go. There we go, okay, so it looks like all your F, all your F keys, you've got accents for your enter for both icon and text, numpad enter, arrow keys, and space bars. Pretty much every key you would like accented can have some sleeves on it. Very cool. So of course, if you are not a big fan of this colorway but still want to support Nathan, there is also the darker set which may 
appeal to some people. Like this. See that? Personally, I like this 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 darker set better. See, Pylon Sam says, this is like six accent kits and two spacebar kits in the same kit. Probably worth finding someone to split it with. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. GLD Top says, love the darker set color. Yeah, me too. Me too. The rusty color is super nice. I I, I agree. Very nice. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's see. Let's look at some of these renders. Let's find a nice one. Here, let's do this one. This one's a nice render. See, look at that. That looks really pretty. Looks very good with a with a black on white set. Reminds you of those pink erasers at school. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. So this is a $70 kit. Um, this one ends on the 26th. And look at that. Look at that. Even though it is a small kit, it, it will still take up to Q1 2022 to be delivered. So yeah, don't don't make that mistake that, oh, I, I want my GMK set earlier, so I'm going to buy a smaller set. Nope. Look at that. Q1 2022. <laughs> Do that. And yeah, buy, buy that over at Novel Keys and make your purchase before the 26th. Alright, and as far as I know, as far as I know, that, I believe, is the, is the last key set that is expiring this week. So just as a quick recap, that is Caro Caro Keys, made by Infinikey, um, EPBT Ramen Stop, EPBT Soju, DSA Nature Witch, also by Infinikey, and GMK Mr. Sleeves. Out of these key sets, well, I guess out of these key sets and key kit, which one do you guys find most interesting? Which of these key sets or key kit do you guys find most interesting? Most appealing, something you would consider buying. Donut Pat this well says GMK Civilizations. No, we did not talk about GMK Civilizations. That is not expiring this week. Ramen Stop is the best, says Foot Fingers. Yeah, Ramen Stop, Ramen Stop. Parach says Soju, 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 Seaweed Novelties. GLD Top says Tuzu ends on Sunday as well. Yes, this stream only covers from Sunday till Saturday, seven day time period. Ramen Stop. Yes, Donut Pat as well. Civilization does not end this week. Off by one, but here we go. This is GMK Civilizations. Right here, 125 bucks. 125 bucks for the base. Novelties are 40. Brass mods are 67. Space bars are 30. 35. And once more, one of the more expensive desk mats that I've seen. 20, 20, 58 bucks for this key. 43 for this. Let's see what else is here. Craft Key Egypt Dome. Yeah, these are really cool. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so it's different. Each each set is different. So 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 you've got Stonehenge. You've got I don't know what this is. This looks Aztec? Is this Aztec? Oh no no wait, these are this is still Egyptian because it's got like the Ankh symbol there. Very cool. No, this is still Egyptian. I guess there's two two Egyptians and a Stonehenge. Cool. Yeah, it goes Mo Moai Egypt Egypt Moai. Okay, okay. Interesting. Very cool.
let's see what else is here 50 bucks for the base kit Oh, did I call it Stonehenge? I was I was thinking of like Stoneface, so I guess that's why I called it Stonehenge. <laughs> but these are the Easter Island ones. Let's see, since this is a GMK set, I am expecting... Oh, there we go. Late Q4 2021. And there we go. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think when I first talked about this, I, I said this looked like a very boring kit to me. It still does, to be honest. But what really stands out are these things. Are the, are, are like the Rama caps and all, and all of these artisans. And I, and I believe the last time that I talked about this, someone posted a, a Parthenon artisan, if, if I remember correctly. <laughs> See, Aladdis says late Q4 now, yeah, 2022 Q1. Yeah, I'd say Q1 as well. There, there's no way this is Q4 unless, unless it's all it's already being manufactured, and we don't know. <laughs> all right, here, let, let me link that in chat as well, right there. All right, okay. Let's see. What's next here, what's next here? Let, let's talk about keyboards. Let's talk about keyboards. Here, there we go. This next one is a board I built two weeks ago, actually. There we go. This is, here, where did I put it? This is the Pallet Carbon G67. For 220 bucks, you get a sandwich kit. Basically, actually, why not? Why not just show you the real thing, right? Why not show you the real thing? Okay, where is it? Here we go. This is it. This is my Palette Carbon G67 keyboard kit, which I built two weeks ago. Basically, it's layered carbon fiber, like so, layered carbon fiber, and it's also gasket mounted. It's gasket, gasket mounted, it's, it's got a carbon fiber plate, PCB comes in both hot swap and soldered. And you can have the option of a acrylic plate at the very bottom or just have it carbon fiber as well, like so. I built mine with Gateron Yellows, I believe. Get Gateron Yellows and SA Olivia. See? It's got a center mounted USB-C port, like so and lots of un RGB underglow. Let's see if I can plug it in, show you guys really quick. Give me a spare cable, there we go. Yeah, so this this entire kit sells for 220 bucks. See that? Here, I guess it's, two, it's 220 if you go for the hot swap PCB. So this one is actually ending tonight. Let's see, so there's probably a chance it's it's already ended. <laughs> yeah. All right, but, but yeah, um, a couple months ago, they sold the, the fully acrylic version as well. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And this is the real deal. So check it out if you guys are are interested. All right, next board that is ending. Next board that is ending is all the way on Canon keys. This one caught me by surprise, actually. Well, I, I I knew about this board. I just didn't expect it to come out so soon. So here we go. This is basically a TKL. A TKL with some of the Efro moved over to the left. Check it out. See that? There we go. That that's a good photo. See? TKL with four of the Efro moved to the left. Check it out. It's kind of like macro keys on the left here. Very pretty board, if you ask me. Um, though one thing I've noticed that as I've grown in this hobby. Let's see if I can find a picture of what I'm talking about here. 
Mm, okay, so there's a picture I've seen of the back where the back is just a metal plate that like goes on it. Um, I've noticed that I tend to like boards that have a design on that rather than just a simple metal plate. So I feel like a design like this, um, as much as I do find it attractive, I feel like it's it's still back in like 2018, 2019. But yeah, what what do you spend for this board? Five hundred and twenty dollars. Five hundred twenty dollars, and you can purchase this up till the twenty sixth, or until stock runs out, or I guess spots run out. And delivery time is how long will this take to get to us? This one, December twenty twenty one, just in time for Christmas, I guess. Here we go, let's see, what, what other specs? Gasket mounted plate, seamless design, 7 degree typing angle via QMK support. Let's see, ANSI support and Canon Keys is not offering ISO plates. Thank you, Canon Keys. <laughs> Internally screwed minimal weight design, your choice of wind key or wind keyless top. 6063 aluminum with some, with the brass weight. What else is here? Custom feet. So I also noticed that they that they use a USB-C daughter board, but they don't specifically call it the unified daughter board, which I think like here, let's go look at the let's go look at the PCB. See? The PCB does not seem like it would fit the the C3 daughter board, but I could be mistaken. Could be mistaken. You know? This is an extra Onyx PCB. Including a and USB C okay. Just because I've I've known like everyone who calls the C3 unified daughter board, um, they always specifically say it's the C3 one. So it's probably not. It's probably a different kind of daughter board, which I think, I think is a mistake, to be honest. Pylon7 has a couple people on the keyboard atelier Discord doing their own daughter boards. Okay. SoCal Blicky says, are you the one who made TFU a keyboard? No, that is my twin brother, Nathan. <laughs> The GLD top says, need a WKL board in my life just for the looks. Yeah, yeah. Peace Pixel says, I was really excited about the board till they announced the prize. Yeah, 520. Like, if I'm spending 520, I do expect to have a more aesthetic looking board, if you guys know what I mean. Like, this one. As I said earlier, this one is like 2018 aesthetics, I'd say. 2018, 2017 aesthetics. Clover Key says, what do I think the price should be? Um, oh, that's always a hard one. Given its specs, given its features, gasket mount board, typically gasket mounts are definitely over 300, typically speaking. And so, Anything above 300, but less than 520. So let's let's call it even. Let's say 400. <laughs> you know. Yeah, for 400, and 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 even that, I think that's that's not money that that, that like I would spend. You know. But anyway, if you guys are interested in this board, check it out. Check it out on Canon Keys until the 26th or when spots run out. All right. Those are the two boards that are ending, but I guess since the G67 has expired already, there's really only one board to choose from. <laughs> Either the 220 board or the 520 board. Dang. Plutonium says this board is close to 900 Canadian. Ouch. A lot of money. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. There is 
one miscellaneous item that's ending. This one's also ending on the 26th. Here we go. Here we go. This is the Op Black Linear Switches R2 ending on the 26th and shipping out in Q3. So I believe these are the ones that were made to be like the next door switches but these are effectively mx blacks and they're made by jwk polished palm stem nylon bottom housing and an unknown milky top housing material secret similar to next door yeah for a pack of 10 six dollars and 75. yeah check it out check it out there you go so I've started doing this. I think this is the fourth the fourth time that I've done. Um, basically, people have, have like always asked me, hey Merlin, what can I buy today? What keyboard can I buy today? What switch can I buy today? And I'm always like, let me Google that for you, because this is actually hard information. Like 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 I like I need to go through Reddit, through Geek Hack, all that stuff just to find out what's in stock. So I figure I'll just make announcements of what's in stock today. So of course this is not an exhaustive list. I'm not gonna like talk about like, hey, the Best Buy over on 27th Avenue, they've got a Corsair, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so yeah, here we go. Here we go, the first item that's in stock is from Canon Keys. This is PBT Honeywell Bold. So check it out. This is a Cherry Profile keycap. Uh, I think this is Canon Key's first, first original PBT set. Very cool. These are reverse dice, die subbed PBT caps. Um, well, even though it's inspired by Honeywell, some of the pictures that I'm seeing, the color of the gray is not exacting to GMK Honeywell. So yeah, don't expect it to be an, an exact match like that. But look. There's the Canon Keys logo on the escape key. Pretty cool. Yeah, this this is only one kit. Let's see, what can we see from the kit? Uh, we know that it supports a 65% and a 75. Anything else? That looks like it supports a 60. Cool, and a couple other keys right there. You get all of that for $99.99. Listen up phone says, looks looks like a purplish gray in some of these photos. Yeah, I agree with you. There's like a, it's like, it's like a hint of magenta, I guess. But it, it's, it's definitely not the same gray as like Honeywell. Honeywell plus saturation. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are interested, check it out. Check it out. I'm actually debating whether or not I should pick one up. I could use another PBT Cherry Profile Kit. All right, these next couple ones are stuff that I've talked about before already, so we'll just go through them quickly. First one is, all the way from drop, GMK Pulse, base kit for 155, Metolet for 135. Keep in mind the base kit for Actually, it's actually an entire kit going up to full size, whereas the Metolet at 135 is only up to TKL. So keep that in mind when you purchase this. The next set is Godspeed. So I talked about this before, but as you can see, the regular kit, which is what I have right here, is now sold out. What's available though is the Columbia base kit, which is... Columbia base kit, this guy right here, which is the all blue with a few accent colors along with the novelties kit and the 40s add-on. So Columbia base kit is 140 bucks. And I guess I didn't, I guess I didn't put that in chat. So let me put that really quick. Next one is also on drop. If you find that 140 is very expensive and that you're bummed out that the, or I guess if, I, I guess if you don't want to spend like 150 and you're bummed out that the Armstrong base kit is sold out, you can go for a PVT variant 
almost the same colors. This one is the DCP Pegaso. What is DCP? DCP is another cherry-like profile. As you can see, it's kind of the same theme as Godsby, just everything is much lighter. Check it out. See that? Slightly different design, also designed by Mito. Same person behind GMK Pulse. <laughs> that. And you can pick this up for 80 bucks. And let's see. Next one. Oh, couple people subscribing. Thank you guys. See a Mapid4, Mokan, Alex, and Hibiki Jibiki has subscribed. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Yeah, let's post that in chat. All right. So yeah, this next one is MT3 white on black. If you guys are a fan of higher profiles but don't like SA, consider this for 110 bucks you can get the base kit or 65 bucks you get an ortho kit. Do that, check it out. Check it out. Um, I personally am not a fan of MT3. It took me two two key sets to like figure that out. I felt that they gripped my fingers too much so that it slowed me down when I was typing and it just wasn't a good experience for me to be honest. But you know, chances are our fingers or your fingers are different than mine. So yeah, check it out. Check it out. And of course there are many many more um I feel like I wasn't as prepared this week in terms of the of the in stock, but thankfully someone on stream, so someone who's been on stream for a long time, has been working on a little project of theirs to keep track of as many things in stock as possible. So Scott Waters, hopefully you're here tonight. Let's see, Scott Waters, are you here? Just want to talk about a little project that he's been involved with. This one is called Box Stock. Check it out if you guys have time. But look, it's this new website. The best in stock mechanical keyboard projects, right? So you can sort it by keyboard, switches, keycaps, accessories, desk pads, PCBs, all that, all that good stuff. All right, so let's let's go look at keycaps. There's DSA Miami. Look at that, enjoy PBT Blumen, which is which is something I quite like. SA Solarize is there as well. PBT Honeywell, MT3 Black and White. And look at that, he's got Star, my personal rec recommendation. And based on this, let's see. None of these keycaps are his personal recommendation. <laughs> I guess he doesn't like any of this. Let's see what else is here. Um, there's keyboards. There we go. He recommends the KBD-8X and the Bumper 60. Cool. Let's see. What's this? Zap cables. Nice. Interesting. Cool, cool, cool. And of course, switches. I feel like switches is just going to be like this giant, giant list. Lavender, Duroc, NK Creams, Lilac, Cobalt. Everglide Dark Jades and Cherry Blacks, nice. And accessories even, I guess there's, oh look, switch openers. Switch openers, stabilizers, Milmax, I guess, oh, that's an important one. Everyone's always asking about these, Milmax, and where can I buy springs? Where can I buy a lube station? All, all that good stuff. So yeah, um, Scott Waters, you haven't posted anything in chat, but if you're watching this on YouTube, Thank you, thank you, thank you for making this resource available to the community. And a couple of people mentioned it already, but you have a typo on the front page. <laughs> the best in stock mechanical, mechanical keyboard products. But maybe by, by the time you watch this, by, by, by the time you guys are watching this on YouTube, it'll probably be fixed up by then. GLD Tops has PBT Bloomin looking clean here. Let let me show you what that actually looks like. Since we're here. That's PBT Bloomin. Or that's that's EPBT Bloomin on my Bloomin NK65. So look at that. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's made by Enjoy PBT, but it's part of their like ABS line. Yeah, here it is. Bantaloop says, I think we need a stream name change. What do you recommend that I change the name to? <laughs> Do that. Check that out. So I was actually very curious to see how close the Bloomin set was to the Blue of Godspeed, right? And let's see. And I'm gonna say that the Bloomin. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see this on stream, but the Bloomin is more saturated than the Godspeed Blue. Bloomin glows. Um, no, it does not. I guess unless you plug it in and it lights up then 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 it glows but yeah all right all right all right all right let's see once again for those of you tuning in for the first time check this out for in stock products like of course this is not gonna have every single thing but I think he will do his very best to, to like make sure this is as as up-to-date as possible All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Next category in the show is missed group buy. So despite my best efforts and the, and the audience helping me out at the end, we still miss a few group buys. This just shows how how big this community has grown. Um, thankfully though, I only missed one, and I think I missed this one because I don't pay attention to forty percent. Right? I don't pay attention to to forty percent. But this one. This one caught me off guard here. I'll post the Reddit link to you guys. Like, I, I love the profile, I just don't like the kit support. But this is DSS Solarized Dark. DSS Solarized Dark. Here, check it out. Solarized Dark, but only for 40%. And, and if you look at the prices, base kit is 110, and novelties is 20, so that's, oops. 110 for this and 20 for that Right, that's really expensive if you ask me and As some of you know um solarized dark is actually one of my favorite color rays and I am quite upset that this is only for 40 here, here. Let me show you another board of mine See I got GMK Solarized Dark. I at the time I did not know how much I would love it, so I wish I wish that I had bought more. But yeah, now that DSS Solarized Dark is out, unfortunately it's not something I can use. I've only got I've only got one 40% and I've got one on the way. There's um I've got like the Romeo and I have a Mercutio coming in. So yeah, this is this is upsetting to me personally, but if you are a 40% user, I would highly recommend this set. Highly, highly recommend. So here, I'll post you guys the link again. This one started a few days ago, and I think you guys have another week before this ends. Boom, right there. Let's see. Estimated ship date late May. That's not, that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. So I forgot to mention it, but I do have numbers for you guys. If you wanted to join, if you wanted to join all the group buys, being Caro Caro Keys, Ramen Stop, Soju, Nature Witch, Mr. Sleeves, GMK Civilizations, I guess I didn't calculate GMK Civilizations in, in the price, but if you also wanted to join the G67 and the Onyx and the Op Black Linears and you wanted to buy every single kit in a key set and every single what if, if every single plate, all of the dust mats and all of the artisans, the price you would need, the price you would need to join all of this for this week alone to join all of this including GMK Civilization, you need a grand total of $2,748.23.
2748 This is... The second most expensive week of 2021. The second most expensive week. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, that does not include shipping, taxes, or any custom fees. $2,748. There we go. All right. We can move on to starting now. <laughs> starting group eyes, all right. So a lot of these are still geek hack or like reddit threads, right? Because they're not over on the vendor pages yet. In fact, the the earliest starting group buy is, is on the 23rd, which is two days away. But here we go, here we go. The first group buy that is starting is GMK Star, starting on the 23rd. Here we go, let's take a look at it. Oh, look, it's Patrick. <laughs> if you guys are a fan of SpongeBob SquarePants, this might be a key set that you like. Though, to be honest, let's, looking at the colorways, it's, it's really hard for me to tie this with Patrick. <laughs> it, it just doesn't, like, like, I can't make that connection, to be honest. <laughs> Let's go look at the novelties. Okay, there we go. There we go. It's very cute. Cute novelties. Oh, look. They've even got an anchor there. More meme than compatible, says hand, handmade metal. Yeah, looks watermelon themed. Yes, I agree with you. This definitely looks like a watermelon themed key set. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see, he's got a 40s kit, space bars kit, base kit, novelties. Let's look at some of these rendered. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this works. I don't think this works at all. This, these, these colors are. Oof. <laughs> Maybe it's just the board color that he picked. Oh, there we go. This one, this one looks better. This one looks better. I think the red board makes, makes the colors work better. Yeah, yeah. Better, but still not, still not pretty in my opinion. You know. Gambit says, no thanks. Yeah, I agree with you. Oh, look, on the Iron 165. Mm, still st still not good. On the Rama M60A. Mm, no. No, 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 no. Uh, yep. Maybe on a purple keyboard. Maybe on a purple keyboard. Oh, there we go. Dust mats. Here. I like this dust mat. This one's cute. Rama keycap. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is a key set that is a hard sell. Look at that. Kono, my keyboard, TikTok, Daily Clack, and Desk Hero. That's where you can buy them. Group by date is February 23rd. Yeah, if you guys want to join in on the conversation or learn more about it, read that link. Read that link. Goes live on the, on the 23rd. This next set goes live on the 25th. And this is a set that I actually like. There we go. This one is EPBT Grand Tour. Look at that. See? So from afar, it just looks like another black and white set, but it's not. All the legends are different colored. Look at that. See that? That's what the base kit looks like. Supports most of the common layouts up to up to full size. That. Got novelty kits. 
Very, very pretty. Oh yeah, if you guys are curious where the inspiration was derived from, it is from this poster. Grand Tour poster. Right there. The set is just for you in space. <laughs> yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. The Gravity Space Market. Engine room. 40s kit, cool. Solar system, ooh. Interesting, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, dust mats, I'm not too big a fan of, to be honest. This almost looks like, like when I'm looking at it, it looks like stars, but from afar, it looks like someone just like had paint and splattered it on like a dust mat, you know? <laughs> Yeah, so these two aren't very appealing to me, but this one, this one, the solar system, mmm, very good, very good. I think out of all these, I would probably pick just a regular one, solar system light. Hernamania, subscribe with Prime, thank you, thank you very much for your support, and welcome to the channel. Like, looks like those quarter machine gumballs. That solar system mat was good when Mito did it. It looks like the Godspeed mat. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Like, especially with the sun over here, right? <laughs> there we go. Let's go look at some of these renders here. Hmm. Very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, cool. Yeah, I think because of the because of the different colors that the legends are, this seems to work on a lot of different colored boards. <laughs> yeah, looks good. Looks good. Go. You guys can buy this at Candy Keys, Ash Keeps, TikTok, KBD Fans, Fancy Customs, Switch Keys, and MK Ultra Corporation. Stingray Shuffle says, Does anyone know about Godspeed? Yes, but not the Armstrong kit, just the Columbia kit. Because the Armstrong kit is out of stock. Cool, cool, cool. Alright guys, if you want to join in on the conversation or learn more about this kit, check out the link. This starts on the 25th. Alright, what's next? What's next? I feel like most of the sets I talked about today has been PBT. PBT and Cherry. But here we go, here we go. This one is Geek Arc Triangle. There we go, or I guess, yeah, this is PBT Triangle, manufactured by Geek Arc. And if, if you've seen dots, this is kind of the same concept, but instead of dots, it's triangles. <laughs> Check it out. Check it out. Look at that, so you have your option of a white alpha kit or a black alpha kit, where the triangles are like inverted and stuff like that. And you also have the same with the mods, white and black. You've also got accent, <laughs> accent triangles. I think this is just so funny. <laughs> oh my word. And of course the dust mats as well. Though part of me wishes, part of me wishes that he would have created a triangular <laughs> dust mat. <laughs> I, I know it's stupid, but I would have like loved a... <laughs> A triangular dust mat. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. Let's go look at some renders. So I'm gonna say that if you cannot touch type, if you don't know how to touch type, sets sets like these might be more difficult to type on. But at the same time, if if you just need like 
like um, layout coverage, this is a great set. You know, this is a great set to use. Also tough if you need to use hotkeys off, off often. M missed opportunity for a triangular dust mat. There we go. Cool. <laughs> there we go. Okay, vendors are Apex keyboards, TX keyboards, my keyboards, study you, prototypist, daily clack, swag keys, and hex keyboards. Let's see. All right. So yeah, this one goes live on the 25th. So check it out. Join the conversation, learn about the set. All right, so this next one, this next one is a new keycap profile that I'd never heard of before, actually. But here we go. This one is JDA The Moon. Yeah, before we go through the set, JDA is a new profile that's apparently just a little taller than Cherry. As you guys can see here, JDA is the one in orange right here. And I'd say it's just about as tall as OEM, which is a little bit taller than Cherry. Of course, not as high as like SA or like any of that. So yeah. Um, it's a, it's a very interesting profile and I would love to like try it out. Would really love to try it out, but as of now, this is the first time I've ever heard of this profile. So yeah, let's let's go take a look at this 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 actual set right here. Let's see. Let's go to the colors right here. Looks pretty. But it's really hard to like Let's see. Can we zoom in on the legends at all? Open image and new tab. Let's try. Blood Moon looks pretty nice. Yeah, I I really like this this Blood Moon. Can we zoom in? There we go. Let's zoom in on some of these legends right there. Ah. Reddit was angry because JDA the Moon was selling on Taobao for four. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. Right here, let's see if we can get more stuff from it. So there's there's Blue Moon, there's Blood Moon, there's White Moon, and here we go. Here are the renders. I'd say it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. So get this, get this here. Let me show you guys how much this cost. This is where this set has a little bit of controversy. Let's see where where was it? Here, let's see if I can find the price. 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 New GB price. There we go. To make things clear, we will no longer include fixed shipping fee in the price. As a result, the GB price for the moon will be $109.99 plus shipping that will depend on the destination. So $109.99 for a new key set, for a new key set profile, even though it seems to have lots of coverage, is, you know, it's kind of, kind of worrisome. But then here's the thing. Apparently, this is also sold on Taobao. It's also sell, sold on Taba for a much cheaper price. I think the price was, God, I saw reports of anywhere between, anywhere between 30 and like 90 bucks. Anywhere from 30 and 90 bucks. And the fact that this is in group buy for 109, I'm like, hmm, okay, hmm, hmm. But despite that, I do think it looks really nice. And I'm very curious to try out this 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 new JDA profile. Bunar says, "Fly this set to the moon and and like leave it there. Fly me to the moon. <laughs> it's two payments of forty for a total of eighty. <laughs> yeah, I am so curious about this about this profile. Okay, cause I like Cherry, 
And I actually do like OEM as well. I prefer OEM over like SA even, you know, or like even, let's see. I, I prefer o OEM over MT3 as well. Look at that blood moon. I think the blood moon looks the nicest. Which is weird because I'm normally like I normally don't like red colors. But out of these three about the blue moon, white moon, and blood moon, I would definitely pick the blood moon. But yeah, if you guys want to read more about this set, possibly read up a little bit more on, on the controversy. Read that geek hack page. This one's supposedly starting on the 20, 26th. There we go. Buddy557 says the dark red is pretty sexy. All right, those are all the key sets that are starting next week. Just as a quick recap, uh, which ones are you guys most interested in? Once again, that's GMK Star. Here, let's get a good photo, good render, I mean. GMK Star. EPBT, EPBT Grand Tour, Geek Arc, PBT Triangle, and JDA The Moon. Which ones are you guys most interested in? Unstable Lemon says Triangle, Kajata says Grand Tour, EPBT Grand Tour is the best, Peter Poppins says Triangle. And I'm out of tea, man. Out of tea. Penguin says, out of these, Grand Tour. Grand Tour. Buddy Five and Seven says, JDA, Blood Moon. Those moons have my interest. Grand Tour, Grand Tour, Grand Tour. It looks like no one likes the Patrick set. Yeah, that's, that's what Donut just said. Nice. <laughs> Very cool. Really liking Grand Tour. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think I am in agreement with that Grand Tour. Out of all the sets that I talked about, I'm probably going to see if I can pick up EPBT Grand Tour. Switch Doctor says, my money is safe. Your money is safe. Not so long. <laughs> cool, yeah. yeah. Patrick's set. No one, no one really wants it. Mucho says, I'm probably going to grab a set of Moon. It's a cool gradient. Yeah, I agree with you. Cool. PBT triangles seem to be popular as well. And JDA the moon. Yeah, I like okay. Personally, I even though I'm most interested in Grand Tour, I'm probably still gonna buy JDA just because I'm so curious about the profile. Though if it's really selling for much cheaper on Taobao, I might go that route, you know, that's like I'm not too keen on spending like like a hundred and nine bucks for a key set that I'm just testing, you know. So it's a uh, it's a little bit worrisome there. Let's see. The bad star says no price on the triangles. Let's see. Was there no price? Let's go look. Let's go look really quick. Yeah, no price mentioned so far, but Geek Arc sets, um, you know what, we can cross-reference really quick, just because Canon Keys had a few Geek, Geek Arc sets. So let's go look in Canon Keys really quick. Let's look at his key sets. So, base kit for 137 keys was 69 bucks. So I'm assuming that PBT Triangle Made by Geek Arc will be a, of similar pricing, maybe, maybe a little bit more expensive because they do have to retool this. They need like, like that triangle mold, and then of course you've got different colors. And yeah, so yeah, it could be anywhere from seventy to eighty, I'd say. That's my guess. That's my guess. Penguin redeemed hydrate. I'm sorry, Penguin, but I'm already out of water here. Static H says, keep in mind that Geek Arc makes PBT MT3 for drop. Ah, there we go. That's some good information. Thanks for sharing that, Static Age. Cool, cool, cool. All right. 
Let's see. We only have one keyboard starting this week. Let's see. We only have one keyboard this starting this week. But it's it, it's not a very important keyboard. We don't have to talk about it very much, you know, like not at all, really. But yeah, it's it's this like little keyboard called an Iron One Sixty Five. You know, yeah, it's just it's just like another sixty five percent. Like I don't I don't know why they have another keyboard out like this. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys can um sense my. <laughs> So okay, he says, yeah, don't buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just a small keyboard from this small company. You don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> of course, what we're talking about is the Iron 165 round two. That's going live this Saturday, the 27th. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible board, super pass. Yeah. So yeah, this is a gasket mounted 65% with a USB-C daughter board. And if you're wondering what the difference is between round two and round one, they have a couple of quality of life improvements. Um, number one, the USB-C daughter board has been upgraded to the C3 unified variant. So that's got ESD protection. I believe the PCB will have ESD protection as well, and the new one's designed by Gondolindra, whereas R1 was designed by Upas of Canon Keys. Uh, let's see what else. What? Oh, here we go. Changes. Apparently, deeper gasket pop pockets. Removal of the cable channel, which is actually something I'm not too happy about because I liked that cable channel. Um. Many other minor tweaks to optimize machining. Very cool. And yeah, just in general, its features are 7 degree typing angle, full gasket isolation mount, seamless case design, and colors that it comes in is midnight teal, graphite, and red. So yeah, just a disclaimer, I'm I'm kind of joking about it being a really bad board because I really want one. Even though I already have R, like, like an R1, I would like another one. Or at the very least, I would like that upgraded PCB and that upgraded daughter board. But yeah, this one's the Midnight Teal. Look at that. Look, looks very, very pretty, you know? Rather than show you renders, let me show you R1. That blue looks very nice. I mean terrible, says Joseph. Oh yeah, it looks extremely beautifully terrible. <laughs> and I don't actually have have a key set on this, so never mind. <laughs> yeah, let's see, let's go look at the red one right here. Look at that. There's a gray one. So I have a gray one. Oh look, they've they've even got prototypes. Very nice. Very, 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 very pretty. Cool, cool. So overall, um aesthetically, this looks no different from the R1. It looks just as bad. It looks just as terrible. <laughs> I see no improvements with this board at all. <laughs> But yeah, see, look, add-on weight and badge set prototypes, very cool. I might, I might get a weight as well. Oh, Donut says the weight is different. Um, yeah, I guess. And yeah, look at that, look at that. So, one reason why this board is quote-unquote very popular is here let me pull out the actual 
where where is the wording where is the wording here apparently there is it's going to be a very limited buy oh here we go up here see check it out let me increase the size so you guys can all read for yourself as well for north america region locked only 300 boards available hybrid first come first serve raffle checkout for 424 bucks that's only 300 boards guys um for Canada, region locked for first 10 minutes apparently, but only 150 boards as well. Or that's like half the amount available in the US. For my keyboard, 300 boards, region locked. Ilum KB, 500 boards, region locked. First come, first serve. But yeah, Donut, Donut says, it's not a bad price for a gasket 65. So yeah. Yeah, it can be a mad rush to join this board, to be honest. <laughs> um, out of the three colors, I think the Midnight Teal is the one that I would get, right? Look at that. I think the Midnight Teal looks the best to me, um, followed by the red. Like, once again, this is, this is another instance of me picking the color red when I'm not really a big red person. So this just goes to show how... Oh, how, how horrible and how ugly the board is, I mean. <laughs> Even if I didn't already have gray, um... Mm, I think in this case, I would still pick Midnight Teal over gray. That's the case. Nefer says, first red board that I really like. Agree with you totally. Totally agree with you. And plus, if I bought red, I, I would put GMK Hamon on it. <laughs> GMK Solarized Dark would be slaying on that teal board. I agree. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, yeah. This, this is the render right here. So, yeah. Um... It would be a waste of your time to read through this Geek Hack thread, but I'm posting it anyway. <laughs> um, this, this, this board is going on Group I on February 27th. Check out that link to read up, learn more about it, and join the conversation. Alright, and as far as I know, that is the only keyboard that is starting this week. So that brings us to the end of our show and to our next segment, the one where you guys get to participate. Audience group by. There we go. Let me post post the command really quick. There we go. Um, this one's not actually an in-stock set or a starting group by, but it is a starting in-stock. I guess I guess that's the way to put it. Here, a starting in-stock. Here. GMK Phosphorus Extras go live tomorrow, February 22nd on the Key Company, right there. Kits available and pricing, let's take a look. Basically a base kit, Nucleus base kit for 155 bucks. Not a bad looking set if you ask me. Looks pretty good though, looks pretty good. Of course you've got your numpads. For 41, spacebar kit for 29, quarks for 62, which is the 40s kit, and yeah, it kind of gives me some GMK Pulse vibes, but I like this better than GMK Pulse. Cool. Thank you very much, Peter Poppins. Thank you very much. Here we go, Icky 68 Aurora. Here we go. Check this out. This is a 129 USD polycarb gasket mounted keyboard with hot swap and multi layout PCB and a very modifiable case. Here, let's look at this gasket mounting system right here. Very cool. I'm 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 glad to see gasket mounted boards being more affordable. You know, just because there's that gasket mount hype. You know, everyone's saying, "Oh, gasket mount is the best. Gasket mount is like end game." Blah 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 blah. It's not its preference, you know, but but the hype is very real, you know. So I, I, I am glad to see boards so much cheaper, so it lets people experience that. 
What's the plate made of? The plate is made out of aluminum. Okay, cool. And it's going to have a silicon pad for sound dampening. There is a storage case even. So even at this price point, 129, it's got a case. Very cool. Um, even comes with the cable, comes with the usual gaskets and spare screws. And let's see, keycaps of course are not included, switches not included, stabilizers sold separately. Very nice, very nice, very nice. I personally want the Mizu colorway. Look at that, that is just so beautiful. Look at that, it's so beautiful. And I am so thankful that I have GMK Mizu because this is the board that GMK Mizu will go on. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Anyway, check it out. This will be starting on the 24th. <laughs> Pencil, making a point here, get multiple ikis instead. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Thank you so much, Flash Flood 514 for reminding me. Let's see, next person. And since I lost the link for, for the Parthenon, this is the one that works well with GMK Civilization. For 55 bucks, you get the Parthenon Artisan keycap. There we go. There it is. It's a very cute cap. Though, keep in mind, this one sits higher than even an SA cap. Now, for 55 bucks, this is made out of stainless steel and bronze alloy and finished with the gloss lacquer. So yeah, here are the exact dimensions, 18 by 18 by 22. But look at that, that is really beautiful. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Last Potato Chip. All right, Thrilly sent me a board called the Tinker 65. Tinker 65, customized keyboard kit that uses CNC and welding process. Welding process, interesting. Um, according to Thrilly, pre-order time starts on the 18th and goes till the 28th. So this is already going on. Okay. Pre-order too. Shipping is free. Delivery time three to four months. Okay. Let's take a look at this. And let me post that link into chat. 65% non-blockered 65. Oh no. Let's see. What else can we see about this? It's a top mount board. Okay. Simple and practical keyboard structure with silent cotton. Silent cotton? What? Where are they putting the cotton? All right, there we go. There's a nice cross cross sectional. So yeah, looks like there's this top piece of sorts, and then the main shell in which the plate connects to, and then there's a weight at the bottom as well. Interesting. Tinker PCB is hot swap PCB Type C. Supports QMK and VIA, or you can use your own driver. Yes, if you if you have written your own keyboard firmware. Feel free to use that as well. And looks like looks like they actually have their own from the looks of it. See? The colorway. We got graphite black, pearl white, green. Oh, the green looks really nice. Okay. Um I think this is the kind of green that GMK Dandy would work on. Yeah, GMK Dandy would work super well on this. Does the ring move? Um, doesn't look like it. Is there a purpose at a frame outside the case? Aesthetics. Yeah, that green looks really good, right? Unstable almonds. That looks like it would work very well with GMK Dandy. Okay, mailing instructions, all that stuff. So I wish that they would have provided some pictures of the PCB because I would have loved to see if there was ESD protection and other stuff on it. Yeah, this is a very unique looking board. Right. I just wish that they had a blocker on there. A blocker or at the very least, not three 1Us, but two 1.5s. 
There we go. Let's see. This is a $319 board. Okay. $319. Yeah. Not a bad price for something this unique. So check it out. Check it out. Thank you very much, Thrilly, for sending this our way. Here we go. This is the Thermal Sequence 2 keyboard for $360. How did I forget about putting this on? This one ends on April 8th, but it started last week. There we go. This one and... Let's see. The other board is... There are two boards. That's right. There's also the Thermal Plus. So here, let's go talk about the regular Thermal first. There we go. Let's post that. Let's post that for 360. You get a 60% keyboard. HHKB, as you guys can see. Very beautiful. I really like the fins right there. Let's see. What are... Oh, it uses the WT60 PCB. Uh, Kale hot top sockets for assembly without soldering. USB-C, 8 degree typing angle from the looks of it. Leaf spring mount, so this should give you a little bit more flex than usual. Um, PCB is compatible with QMK and VIA as usual. PCB plate mounting hardware for stable hot swap performance. Very cool, very cool. And in addition to that, the Thermal Plus is also being sold. Here we go. Here we go. See, for a little bit more money, you can get a 65%. And here's the thing about this. Like, earlier I mentioned that I don't like 3-1-Us. Three, three over here, right before the, the arrow keys. I much prefer having a blocker there. But having two 1.5-Us, this, this I can tolerate. <laughs> this I can tolerate, but of course, I would have greatly preferred having a blocker there. Cool, cool, cool. Did I link the Thermal Plus or just the Thermal? Yeah, I just linked linked the Thermal. Let me link the Thermal Plus. There we go. This one also ends on the 8th. And PCB options uses WT65 for Kale Hot Swap or the WT65CX, which is the solderable variant and allows for some layout support. Like you can do to you or split backspace. You can do stepped or regular caps lock. Let's see. Case angle is also eight degrees. Also uses leaf, leaf spring mount. Cool, cool, cool. Very pretty board. I think like when these boards first came out, people were saying, "Hey, it reminds me of a heat sink." Cool. All right, thank you very much, Nasty Naders. Okay, here we go. This is a wrist rest, also in collaboration with GMK Civilization. So let's talk about it. Here, this one, right here. I I actually saw photos of this, but I didn't know where to get it. But check it out. Antique white wrist rest for GMK Civilizations. Look at that. Look at that. That is so pretty. Very cool. And yeah, look. It is made of Carrara marble. I know what marble is, but I have no clue what Carrara is. I'm just going to assume it's fancy marble. <laughs> A variety of marble with its white color and dark gray veining. Um, I feel like this is something that... That like you should get. Just because something like this never ever pops up. Who makes wrist rests out of marble? right look at that that's so pretty one thing you need to be aware of though is typically speaking um obviously you put your wrist on a wrist rest and most wrists or most wrist rests are made out of wood when you when you change to something metal or change to something marble it could be very cold it could be very very cold so yeah it'd be be ready. When, when you buy this, you might have cold cold wrists. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Let's see. 
63 bucks for the 60%. And I'm assuming the 73 is for the TKL. Cool. Okay. Nice. You know, I might actually pick one of these up, but without the Parthenon, so I don't need to, like, pair it with the GMK Civilizations. Link, please. Oh, yes. Here we go. So here's my next question, right? Um, if we can make wrist rest with with marble, can we make keyboards with marble? I would like an Italian Carrara marble board. <laughs> Someone make me one. We'll make a marble board. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Flash Flood. <laughs> We're sending that our way. But extra sale coming up. Extra sale of the Mode 80. Apparently, it's going live on t on the 26th as well at 6 p.m. PST. If you guys are into TKLs and have 470 to spend. Check it out. I personally don't have a Mode 80, but everyone I've talked to seems to be quite impressed for it, or impressed by it. Do that. And, okay, oh, Perarch updated it. <laughs> All right, so what Perart sent me earlier was actually not something to show, but this is an, I think this is an interest check, just because he heard me talk about the marble cave. So you know, I don't normally do this, but here we go. I asked for a marble cave. Apparently, there is a marble cave. <laughs> what the hell? I want it. I. I actually want that. That's gonna be awesome. Imagine like carrying that to a meetup if I'm like traveling for a meetup, just carrying the marble board. You're like, oh, oh, that's so heavy. <laughs> I want it. I absolutely want this board. <laughs> oh my word, oh my word, look at that. What the? Heck. Okay, so obviously it's not like it's not like any of the fancy mountings. It's not like gasket mounted, but gasket mounting would have been so cool on this. A gasket mounted marble board. But oh my gosh, okay. Oh, there's even different colors of marble. Very nice. Okay, well I will I'll go reach out, because look, 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 look at his location. He's in my home country. Location, Taiwan. <laughs> this might actually happen. This might actually happen. But yeah, looks like no one else is sending me stuff. So guys, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining in. Um, just as a quick recap. All the stuff that was sent to me by the audience was the Icky 68 starting on the 24th, um, the Panthenon Artisan Keycap to be paired with the GMK Civilizations, which is also ending on the 26th, I believe, um, the Uyan Studio Tinker 65, which is a top mount board. I believe, let's see, what was the end date on this? Uh, what was the end date? I forget. I think it was like in March. Yeah, I think I think this, this was in March. And then the two boards from Rama, the Thermal Sequence 2, ending on the 8th, April 8th actually, followed by Thermal Plus, which is a 65% variant of the Thermal Design, also ending on April 8th. And then another Civilization collab. This one's a Marble Wrist Rest, like, like so, available in 60 to TKL sized. And you have the option between the Parthenon engraving or not. And then apparently a in-stock 
or I guess it's an in-stock extras of the Mode 80 occurring this Saturday as well. And then we went off tangent and talked about a marble keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see if this happens. AG Berserker subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, guys, this stream will go on YouTube in a little over 24 hours. So yeah, if you guys wanna catch the recap, click on all the links and make sure you check it out on YouTube. All right, guys, thanks for joining in. Hope you have a good start to your week and have a good rest of your evening. All right, guys, see you next time.